about my job? That's what I want to know. We well, can't stand in the way of progress, Rita. Oh, you'll be singing a different tune when people are buying their flowers there. You reckon? Mm. Thank God they don't do wreaths. Give them time. These big shops are into everything nowadays. Mm. That development is going to be a disaster for businesses round here. Oh, not necessarily, love. Well, small traders can't compete with the likes of Fresco. Yeah, well, not everybody's going to be competing with them, are they? It'll give some businesses a shot in the arm. Shot in the back of the head, more like. <laughs> we take me and Jason, for example. If we've got a piece oh, of this development... Oui. <laughs> it's Jason's business. Yes, and I'd be happy for him. But it won't be much consolation for them that goes under. Mm. No, I'm hoping Sally can stop it in its tracks. Sally? Yeah. Yeah, she's our very own Hillary Clinton. She's just been elected to the council as an independent. I doubt one novice councillor is going to stop Fresco. Oh, I wouldn't underestimate her. She's already got herself on the planning committee. Has she? How did she swing that? Well, it's a hung council, and her vote is important, apparently. Well, that's democracy for you, isn't it? I mean, the right circumstances. Any fool can get their hands on power. Well, I wouldn't write her off. Sally is many things, but she's no fool. Mm. <coughs> Working late. Oh, you know what you say? No rest for the wicked. No. Oh, you must be permanently knackered. And here's me thinking Scouse has had the monopoly on wit. Well, not if you're anything to go by. Yeah, well, excuse me. I gotta lock up. <laughs> oh, get in. Didn't have you down as an hour's man. What? Because I'm gay. No, I just didn't think you were the dark type. All right, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> you know, I knew I'd find you in here. Hi, love. Mm. How did the meeting go? Oh, yeah, like you care. You swore you'd deliver them leaflets for me. What leaflets? The ones publicising the meeting for the new Fresco store. Sorry, love, I had to help Liz put up the banners for Michelle's party. Oh, right, and give them the opportunity of, of supporting your wife while getting a couple of free beers from here. It's a no-brainer, isn't it? My client chooses not to answer. I'll to get Jason's pal to do it in the end. Who, Pat? Pat, yeah. And he wouldn't take no for an answer. He was very helpful, unlike some. So how did it go? <sighs> it got cancelled. I mean, somebody broke into the community centre and they trashed it. There's graffiti all over the walls. It's terrible. No. Yes. Yasmin's in bits. She would have had something to cry about and all if she walked in on them. It's a good job Pat was there. Whoa, well, hang on. So so Pat was at the community centre? Yeah, he was walking past. I mean, he's there now, fixing the door. Right, come on. You can make me a brew. All right, I'll just net me a pint. You will not. Home now. See you then. Yeah, yeah, see ya. Still at it? I've been working in the community centre. Yeah, so here. I didn't know you'd taken up interior decorating. I've been repairing the door. Somebody broke in. Some dodgy people about. You've got to watch yourself around here. No, I'll be all right. No, your enemies, that's what I've always said. From what I've heard, they'll never be sure to them. Anyway, was there something? Because I need to get home and get my feet up. No, no, I don't blame you. I mean, you've had a busy day, you know. Dropping off leaflets. Dropping in at the community centre. Who knew you were so public-spirited? Well, I like to do my bit, you know. Anyway, if there's nothing... Yeah, some spray paint. Here, keep a few cans. You're out of luck, mate. It's all gone. You'd be surprised what we get through. Not for look across the road. I've got no idea what you're talking about, but if I did, I would say anything I do, I do for the sake of this business. <laughs> for your brother. Is that right? That is right. So if I were you, I'd back off and let me get on with it. No, no chance. Like I say, you might have fooled me, Mum and Jason, but you don't fool me. Change the record, lad. No, not until you get off the dance floor. Pat, mate, I know what you are. No. No, you don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be talking. You don't frighten me. One of these days, you're going to slip up, and I'm going to be right there. It's funny. 
I remember Michael saying much the same thing. You, you mind how you go. 